Yeah, I see there, he's lovely, nice and composed and just did, done the job you had to do, didn't he? Well, speaking of the devil, we've uh, yeah, just, just, Tommy, just yeah. been talking about Tommy Ward before, <laughs> just watching your brother there, Tommy. That was uh, obviously an exhibition fight, but it was a chance to just refine a couple of things with the timing, wasn't it? Yeah, it was just to get a nice little look out and warm up. I mean, just um, in front of a crowd and that there, you know, just 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 to keep on point, really. And obviously, he's got his European title fight coming up at the end of September, I think we said. Yeah. So, you know, just just to get just to get out there and get the get the ring rushed off, really, so sort of, sort of speak. You know, just to keep active, keep busy, basically. It's all about the best things to do, you know what I mean? So, how's things been for you since you won that British title? Obviously, you've had all the all the family round, the people, but I'm, I'm guessing it's still business as usual for you moving forward. Yeah, I mean, it's been great. Um, obviously, everyone wanting to get a picture took and that there's something I've never had before and it was absolutely unbelievable, you know what I mean? And uh, But, uh, yeah, but things carry on as normal. I mean, uh, I've been back in the gym training away and looking to move on to the, to the next and hopefully defend my British title and, and just keep doing what we can do, keep moving on, do you know what I mean? And uh, whatever comes up, uh, I'm always, always staying ready because it's not about... It's when, you, when you get there, you want to stay there. You yeah. don't want to you wanna not be there, you know what I mean? So... Got to make sure and train hard and keep keep it going. You know what I mean, and I'm sure this man here will be no doubt winning the British title. I think myself on uh, in September the 16th, is it? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. September the 16th. Yeah. So I think um, I think he'll do a good job in that. Then, like I said, listen, boxing in the North East coming back uh, big time. It's coming and, big, isn't it? Now it's some big fights like, can happen. Like said, Tommy winning it, bring uh, hopefully that'll bring Box Nation to it. Yeah, mm. and BT doing it. And BT, well, they've got the perfect platform with Tommy winning it, and hopefully his brother Martin can win the European. Get them two on a show, Met Rory and Joe, yeah. him the British, Martin the European. Hopefully, that's what I mean. Titles, Hopefully, fingers crossed, if things go well all this year between the North East fighters, Lewis to the British, me the British, and Martin, hopefully the European, come next year, we, we can have a massive. A, a Glenn Foot, obviously, the English team probably get a crack of a, a British again, or maybe a Commonwealth, or whatever might yeah. come up for them. Maybe all get on, and, as you said, Newcastle's a matter of ready, I mean, uh, I mean uh, come on, look at that there. All North East lads doing well. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Well, the thing is, b b well, Box Nation came up twice about three years ago. Um, John Lewis Dickinson was on. Obviously, Martin was fighting against uh, Stuart Hall. Stuart Hall, Paul Ingle, Ingle uh, was Paul Ingle, yeah. No, Paul. But Paul Butler, Paul sorry, Butler. yeah. Paul, but Paul Ingle, but yeah. But it was the they didn't promote the shows as well as they probably could have done on the local scene. Whereas a year later, Sky came up on the Joshua card, sold a lot more yeah. tickets on that one. Where I think, in terms of the way that the the regions built up. The, the boxes are built up over the last couple of years. Box Nation and BT come to the arena now. You got, you're going to be selling the arena out with the right fights. Of course, I definitely, I think so. I think um, the way it is at the minute and uh, the right people on, the right fights on. Definitely, BT coming up and uh, Box Nation out there. I think it'll be uh, the Metro Arena will be, be be sold out really. And again, obviously, you had the Chris Eubank Jr. on ITV box office last night. You've got um, Channel 5 covering fights. You've got Dave, Dave, David here with oh, Dave. Yeah. The competition there. Uh, it's getting big now, isn't it? <laughs> it's getting massive now. The competition in boxing is getting very, very big. And obviously, everybody wants to outdo mm. each one another, you know what I mean? So, um, But the platforms are, there's more platforms for you guys to get those big fights on. Of course there is, of course there is. Like you said, like Lewis has got the British title coming up. Uh, I've got the British title, man's got the European title fight, Glenn's got the English. There's and there's no doubt and Lewis will agree with me here, every fighter here would fight any of any of your men, I, I, any of Frank Warren's men. If you see it at Tommy Ward, anyone anyone in Britain now, Tommy Ward would defend and beat. So, so why why can't they get the big shows down? Eddie Hearn, they've got they've got people Tommy's weight. You know, get them, get them on. We're, not, we're not fussy. That's one thing I say about us. We're not fussy about. We we don't we won't hand pick opponents. We're, we're not that type of people. We like to fight the best fighters out there. You know yeah. what I mean? I mean, if it was up to all of us, all of us would pick probably one the best person in the division. Say, right, I want him. Do you know what I mean? But it's just where boxing boxing they, falls out. Tom, Tommy with Jazza, that could have easily been for European title. Yeah. Not not just the British. That could have been European because I I would say Jazza was. Better than British level, yeah. he fought yeah. for the world title before yeah. Tommy. That's right, he was yeah. definitely better than just, British level. Could have been for a world European, title, definitely. Could have been uh, European fight. That. And I think he was actually he was ranked number one uh, in Europe. Yeah, uh, yeah, he was, was number one mandatory before yeah. he boxed me, which I thought I thought actually he would have give up the belt to fight for the yeah. U, the European, which would have probably made more, a bit more sense. But it yeah. shows the mentality of the boxer. Well, he exactly, was exactly. Yeah. He, like he, he did, he did say, he did say. Uh, uh, he um, knew I was a good fighter and he wanted to go in and fight someone someone good so 
and what she did to him, you know what I mean, that's the fighting mentality yeah. of fighters. That, that's all we want to do. All we want to do is fight the best, yeah. give the fans what they, what they want to see, a very good fight, and do the best we can in our yeah. boxing careers, you know what I mean? That's all we want to do. Well, it's a short career. Yeah, it is. It's a short career. Some some careers get cut shorter than even. No, yeah. So you've got to make the most of every single opportunity, and thank oh, for yeah. you two guys have certainly been doing that. Ah, uh, well, definitely. Trying our best. I'm trying our best here right there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we've got the next fight coming on. Tommy, thanks for calling in. I'll catch you shortly, <laughs> Hey, there's commentating lock. We don't get any time off, no, do we? Don't get <laughs> Tommy Ward was the North East best kept secret. He's not now that he's won the British. Great, he's a great fighter, Tommy. And uh, hopefully that the big shows will be coming now. I see it. J- Jazza. So who's the best kept secret now, then? Oh, hey. <laughs> hey. No, but. but again, there's a few guys coming through. There's, you know, the guys at different stages of their career. I mean, you, you look at Josh Leather and uh, Imran Naeem. Yeah, he's... Had and a great win last time out. Yeah, again, Sutcliffe, and obviously, we know there's a, there's a fight in the pipeline, so we're, we're not seeing Who's often... Who's this, Cliff? <laughs> <laughs> so, but... Everybody... So we've got the guys in the in the ring there now. Yeah. We've got Fons Alexander uh-huh. in the blue corner there. Um, tough guy. Yeah. Well, uh, when when obviously when I first got out the day, and you told us that Tommy Walsh had picked the fight Fons on his second fight, I was quite surprised actually because yeah. we've seen Fons give quite a few people uh, experienced uh, uh, ex- talent uh, uh, coming uh, through hard fights in there. I don't think he's ever been out on his feet properly. T- uh, Fons, nah. has he? He's never been. He's a tough, tough lad. And, uh, I don't. I know uh, Tommy Walsh is from Newcastle, but I've never heard. Mo- I don't know much about him. So well, he's from uh, Northumberland up in Annick. So. Yeah, so, but it'll be a, a good test from the day. If Fons comes to fight, which he usually does, it'll be a, a hard, a hard, hard fight. Well, the thing with uh, Tommy Walsh, he doesn't have uh, a huge amateur background. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's uh, he's worked with Matt Jobs and Keith McDonald and Tink there. Yeah. And one of the key things they're working with, it, it's it's that blank canvas, so they don't yeah. have to train the bad habits out of them. Mm-hmm. And they're really homegrown lads, aren't they? That's what, uh, they haven't come from somewhere where they need, where they need to say, oh, you're doing this wrong, you're doing yeah. that wrong. They've, they've coached them, so... They know what they're working with, don't they know what they're dealing with? But he, uh, he's one and all, Tom Walsh. He, yeah. he won last time out uh, against another debutant, oh. Andrew Ponsfad. Mm. Won 40 35, and he totally dominated him. And mm. it was from that oh. South Point, South Never Paul South stance. Paul, yeah. You'd be oh, dreaming about South Paws at the minute, oh, you. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Nightmares about them, more like. <laughs> oh, great. Lovely. He's got a lovely, strong jab, this Tom. The one thing I did think about his first fight when he was boxing, he did put too much into every punch. Yep. He wasn't, and he did get tired towards that fight. But which on your debut? It, it, it's it, aye, oof, nice polish. Aye, some pff, stiff punches coming in the ass from from the from the off. Ooh, nice body shots. But you have to if you're you fighting against Fons Alexander. Ah, you want to put a dent in him straight away, don't you? And, and stay on top of him. Yeah, yeah. Oh. He's had 65 fights, Alexander. He's lost 60 of them, but he's only been stopped three times. And, and a lot of those that. fights on the road, he's, yeah. he's lost and close if, fights. If you think about all the, the top kids he's fought as well, actually, he's yeah. fought a load of top lads. And for only being stopped three times out of 60, it shows you how how tough how tough he is, isn't it? So, and more often than not, he'll mix at least around. Yeah, uh, on the away on, on the away card, you know. So. But it's good good start for Walsh so no, far. No, it has. Yeah, behind that job, nice and. No, <laughs> not holding back no. that time. Just need to say nice and relax and let that. Yeah. Like I say let that jab go when he's at that jab go when he's hitting him. The thing is with yourself, obviously being at the ten and twelve round sort of stage of your career now. Yeah. Obviously, when you first started off and you're having four rounders, and you know you can see other guys and in, in, in your weight division, maybe he's getting stoppages, and it's hard to get that stoppage when you've only got the four rounds against no, an experienced especially guy, especially against an experienced guy. And like I say, he's, he's starting off quite well. Yeah, he's back, he's back and forth up. He looks <laughs> he like he's, he's a stiff puncher. This Tommy looks like, doesn't he? So, like Alexander tended to cover up pretty well, but he's managed to get round round the side of the yeah, yeah. The, the guard there landing with 
left and right. Oof. <laughs> when he starts with that, when he starts off for that job, he's backing the back and yeah. Fonz up, and he's letting them, letting the hands go. He's, he looks he looks well. Oh, that comes Fonz. Yeah, typical Fonz. Nah, he <laughs> he's nails, man. Nah, he is. You know you've got to fight on your hands when you're fighting Fonz. Oof. Nice little shot there. He must be one of the best paid boxers in the country when you think <laughs> how often he fights. Yeah, and he's fighting at, you know, he's, he's fighting at the, the second tier generally in terms yeah. of the prospects coming through. Oh, oh. Nice little bit of head movement from the yeah. front there. Getting out of the way of I see that when, when he's letting that job go and punch that. Oh. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, punches were flowing there, weren't they, Phil? Absolutely, but put, put nice power shots going in. I, I like what they're doing with Walsh at the minute because they're matching him quite tough, but that's because they believe in him. Yeah. And it's very easy when you've got somebody, especially when it's somebody who doesn't have a huge amount of background, mm. where you're going to think, okay, well, they're going to be learning. Of course, they're going to be learning when they're in the fights. Yeah. But you want that learning curve. You want not to be too steep, but you want to be as you want to be pushed, don't you? You want to be pushed, challenged. I mean, how many times do you see the top lads where they've had 10 journeymen work all, all over them and they get that one to fight and then they get beat or they get knocked out because they haven't, they haven't had that test. Yeah. And uh, getting fighting people like the like Fonz on your second and second fight, it's good experience and it's a good test for you. They've got a... Uh, They've got a great, great gym along at Jobs' gym. It's like, I mean, Matt, Matt Jobs has basically invested his own money. The whole, they've had no backing or anything. He's invested the whole, whole thing. And they've got a great camp there of just proper they've down got a few to work fight, They've got a few fighters now, haven't they? Yeah. Put a lot of work in there. Oh, beautiful nice. left hand. Uh, yep. Just needs to pop that job. There, 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 it, boy, is. there, there it is. Whoop, there it uh, is. <laughs> <laughs> See, when he's thrown it, he's, he's, yeah. it's landing. It's okay. Nice, nice oh, body work. Great switch to the body there. Yeah. Just getting a little bit too close after it, but... Yeah. But it's in these exchanges with the likes of Fonz Alexander where perfect jab, following it up with the body. Yeah. And what I was saying in the, in the previous fight of Martin Ward, when he... You know, he, he, he when he throws those shots, as soon as he's finished, he, he'll pivot and he's and he's out of there. He doesn't yeah. take the shots coming back where Walsh had some great success there, but because he stayed in there afterwards... He's getting uh, Fonz is able to come back. Ooh, oh, nice, nice little uppercut word. there coming through. <laughs> hey, when Ricky Hatton said it's not a tickling contest, he was right, no, wasn't he? I think... <laughs> <laughs> Need to throw that jab first before them yeah. swings. He's doing a good job of keeping uh, Fonz on the back foot. He is. Fonz does like to come fight. He does. He's, he's doing a good job to keep. Must be a bit of a stiff punch out. Oh. Oh. Yeah, comes the Fonz. That's what he does. Have, you, if you don't keep popping that jab out and let him come, Fonz, he'll, he'll be all over you. It's <laughs> fascinating little scrap. No, it is. Just how, how composed Fonz is actually when he's getting back up the ropes and he's taking them shots. It's like nice high guard, no panicking. Yeah. And you can, you, oh, nice close for the right hand there. But like you were saying before, when it comes down to experience, Fonz has got so much experience. I mean, it was similar like, like last time round, your, 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 your previous fight with Jordan Ellison. He had that experience of being the away fighter for yeah, most of did. his career. <laughs> oh, oh, lovely shot. Oh, I think you hurt him there. He did. Oh, oh, I think right. he has, he had, yeah. Oh, the jab again, jab popping out hit him. Back comes the funds. <laughs> no. right. oh. oh, lovely back out. He's oh, landing very again, he's well here. Yeah. He but again, it's it's about not getting no, greedy. Yeah, Building right that there. success. If, you, if you're having success doing what you're doing, why change it? Yeah. To be fair, he had a bit, he had quite a bit of success there when the funds actually come, come towards yeah. him. They just changed, changed up a little bit. Yeah. So, 
excellent excellent yeah. round there from Walsh I was especially towards the end there last 30 seconds put on the funds in there seemed to hurt them to me I think both guys are feeling it a bit more only halfway uh, through yeah, the fight here there's some big punches going in obviously like we were saying there about experience and obviously it's Tom's second fight I think he's put everything in every punch at times I think if you can just calm it down yeah. a little bit compose yourself let them shots go but but you know what it's like you in the first learn, couple you? of fights oh, exactly, you've, you've yeah, sold you, a lot of tickets you, you, you want to make an impression uh, yeah. especially you know, you've only got the, the five fights on the card today yeah. so everybody that's in here will be wanting to steal yeah, the show they will, they? especially when you like, you sell a few tickets and you have that you do land and you have the crowd whoa you think oh I've got to jump on them I've got to jump on them but sometimes if you just especially with the you find with it what I do with the ex journeyman is if you rush in and journeyman are used to that the the yeah. manager can't get it but if you say nice and relax just look for that opening but when you get it that's when that's when you that's when you hurt them. Well, I think one of the key things at whatever level you're fighting at is when you, the work you're putting in, you want to be make sure that you're taking more out of your opponent than, what than he's you're taking out of, you, of you, yourself. Yes. Whether that's you know you're oh. punching on the arms, you're missing wildly, whatever it is, if it, 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 if punch economy oh, oh nice lovely like I see on the back on the back foot again there Tom just yeah. letting him come forward hitting him he's having a bit more success when he's actually on his back foot than what he is on his yeah. on, on the front foot he varies his stance quite, quite well he does, does sometimes he, 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 his feet are quite close together mm. where other teams he he's got that wide like as yeah. he's got that wide stance hasn't he which allows him to get some power yeah. on, the, on, on the back foot just sitting down on that back foot isn't he when the funds comes and then he's popping pop the back hand if it's a back hand up back cut or the straight and then when he's coming forward and he's popping the jab then oh. that's it there you go it works and then he's getting out the way now he's taking that yeah. little step back oh there you go hey you boxers are mental you <laughs> really are crazy <laughs> that's why it's the best sport Ooh, in the world though mate ah you're right there hardest sport in the world but the oh. best I used to be a county squash player, you know what I mean? I used to be like very, very fit as he is a young lad. Not, not a patch compared to what you and People say squash is tough. Not a patch on what you do. And the sacrifices you make. Tom's hands are coming. I think it looks like he's feeling the pace. Oh, oh. Just needs to keep popping that jab out. Work when he's at a nice oh, body shot. Beautiful that. Nice body shot. Back comes the funds. Yeah. In fairness, Walsh is taking some shots back, but most of it he's catching on the goals. I'm also just getting cut, scuffed on and cuffed. And but again, oh, oh, oh nice job. Well, both hit each other at the yeah. same time there, didn't they? But this is, it's not just the level of guys up against here, Walsh. Mm. And that, that, that might sound silly when you got a guy who's won five and lost 60. Yeah. But it's the level of competition he's been against with, yeah. and the performance he's put in against some yeah. of these guys. Like I say, Tom, Tom Walsh will uh, learn a load from this. And it's just really his second fight. He'll, he'll learn a load. Oh, lovely backhand there. But it's been able to learn to be under pressure yeah. when you're fatigued. Yeah, it is. You're right. Which, you, you know, you're generally going to be finding that in your sixth, seventh fight when you're stepping up to six and eight rounds. But yeah. you have a tough, tough four rounds like this in your, in yeah. your second fight. Shows his team, have, his team must have a bit belief in him, and he, he, he looks a good lad. He looks a good lad. And like you say, with that that southpaw advantage, oh, that's what it is. Just getting a little bit too close, moving his own work there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you can see the shots turning more into arm punches. Yeah, a little they bit are there. now, aren't they? Does he keep popping that jab from range? Yeah. But never good. He's won. He's won the three rounds. Comfortably, but I mean the funds is there and he's he's making them work for it, isn't he? So I think it's going to be an interesting fourth round. Yeah, see how how much belief the fun, funds is going to come out with. But funds has been yeah. I, mean, I think I think he's been he's been stung by some of those shots, I, yeah, I, especially in the uh, end of the second round when he yeah. caught the up. I cut and Tommy had a bit of a uh, bit of a flurry. I think he was he was hurt on the ropes there, but he's come he's come back all right. He come back quite well uh, that round. Funds, but T Tom is still in control. Still yeah, in control. But he's put he's put a, quite a lot into this one so far. Oh, no, he has. You're right. These final three minutes. This is where typically the, the, the likes of Fons Alexander are thinking on, right, he's going to want to show know, something in this yeah. last round. It's going to show you what you, if you if, what you're made of, isn't it? <laughs> got it or not? Yeah. So let us see. I wouldn't be able to do this game if it wasn't for the likes of people like the Fons and the likes of the Christian Leites and that coming 
William Warburton's. William Warburton's week in, week out. And uh, game is out, man. A hard way to make a living, but the day of don't then. But the thing is that they learn certain skills on the road that yeah, a lot of a lot of top talents like yourself could probably yeah. benefit from actually spending time in the gym with them yeah, and just yeah. a little. Because mm-hmm. if you think like, like yourself as a as a, as a come forward pressure fighter, yeah. absolute animal Ooh, when you're in there. Not by the funds. Yeah, well, if you like the funds, the amount of the people that he fights, top level prospects, and then you get in with someone like Tom Walsh, who's a bit unorthodox, bit of a yeah. novice, bit of a new starter. Then even the front home unorthodox shots that they don't, that even the funds are not yeah. coming. So even it, like you said, even learns them a few bits and bobs as well. Exactly. Oh. I think Walsh just needs to be sensible for the first first half of yeah, this round, so he's got plenty of energy the fun, uh, for the second half yeah, of the, the round. Yeah, the starting to come on a little bit. He just needs to stay behind that jab, push, yeah. him, push him back with the jab of his. It's all about the jab, Phil. It's, it's all, all about, about the jab, jab and the body. Don't, and ne- <laughs> don't neglect the body. Ooh, nice. But again, with us covering the fight here today, it means that Tom can sit down with his team, watch the fight back, listen oh. to our expert commentary, <laughs> and then pick right. up all the tips when they're in there. I wouldn't have an expert mind, Phil, but <laughs> I'll say good. I'll say good. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they, they can watch these things back, and you know, no, Walsh Wal should be able to see oh. how important his jab is. Yeah. And like, how he was t- in complete control like when he there, was... When the jab yeah. comes, the three or four punches come after it, he's hitting, he's hitting the funds with it. But it's stopping Fonz from coming onto him, yeah. and, and it's stopping him. Back then, then body, then body, nice. Again, gets his guard up well yeah. there. Caught that, caught that uh, right hook on the gloves. Bit of a wild one from the Fonz there. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Walsh's corner asking for a, a big last minute. A big last minute. Oh, oh, nice up, I could. Not, not a careless last minute. Yeah. <laughs> He's so tough, Fonz ah, Alexander. He is, I mean, Tom, is, he, you can hear the foots from yeah, He's a stiff puncher, isn't he? Yeah. Oh. And let you see, probably against other journeymen, these shots would have... You'd have had him out of there. You could have had him out of there. Ooh, caught one there, though. Like you see, Fon's having a big last round, Phil. You said that before. Yeah. Just arm shots there by yeah. Tom. He's quite tired. That's about the experience about keeping... Keeping, keeping that energy keeping in there. Keeping that energy in, not put everything in every shot in the first few. But he's, he's, got, he's had a good work rate, Tom. He's, he has. He's, he's, he hasn't dipped, has it? He's been throwing shots all fight. Well, it's like you were saying before, it's the little things that you can pick up where, instead of loading up and putting everything in every shot, having the, some of those yeah. combinations where you take a bit off the first couple of yeah. shots, and then maybe it's the third or fourth shot in the combination, you put a bit more on to keep that respect there, uh, yeah. without yeah. emptying yourself. Yeah, 100%, 100%, Phil. But that's Tom, it's clear when I 40 36. So yeah. Like. And like I say, for only his second time out. No, it, 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 it's fighting it, someone like the Fonz in the second fight. I mean, obviously, with a very little amateur background as well. And it's, it's a brave move, really, because yeah. Fonz comes to fight. And some people, even that last round when you're tired and Fonz comes on the attack, it, you know, with certain people that might, uh, you know, so he's, he's done well. He's, he's done well to. Keep at it and say good win, good win yeah. for vital experience. Yeah, it is. So it's, it's going to be interesting to see what the what the line up for him next. Ah, it's you like you think well, if he's fighting Fonz Alexander in his second fight, and it's uh, you didn't want to step him back down, do you? You want to keep them little steps going and going. But as as, as journeyman go, Fonz is probably one of, well, one of the toughest, isn't he? So it's going to be it's, it's going to be hard fighting at welterweight as well. It's uh, you know yeah. the likes of William Warburton. Ah, there's going to be yeah. an option there. Well, you think maybe it's not his third fight, no, but, but I mean, how many people have William William, Warb- William Warburton shocked? You know, Baz Razak, people like that. Uh, Gary Fox. So it's. Yeah, we know Tom done well. Good yeah. fight. And the journey continues. And the journey continues, <laughs> right there. <laughs> <laughs>